All right, what's going on, everybody? So, Star Ocean 2, the second story on PlayStation 1 was one of my favorite games growing up. Yeah, I still consider it to be one of the top 10 RPGs of all time. Basically, in terms of story gameplay, it's aesthetic, especially the music by Matoi Sakuraba. This game, you know, a lot of people might think like with Star Ocean Divine Force and Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness and Star Ocean Last Hope, you know, you may be thinking like, what's with these games? Like these are, are mid-tier, you know, low budget JRPGs. Like why do people care about Star Ocean? Well, it was due to this game. Star Ocean, the second story when it came out is like the Final Fantasy VII of Star Ocean games. This is the game that basically established the franchise and it just was amazing. To this day, I don't think that there's any game that's really kind of matched what this game did in terms of its look and appeal and its sound. So I'm really excited that Star Ocean Second Story R was officially announced. I'm not sure if this is a remake or a remaster, but I'm very, very excited to see the trailer. I know it came out today, so let's check this thing out. All right. Holy, so this is kind of like an Octopath 3D 2D game. Yeah, the music is still amazing. Oh, is that Click? Can you fight for what you care about? Wow, the environments are completely different. Yeah, and they're not calling it Second Evolution. That was the port of the PSP. It's back to Second Story. Damn, this new character art? It sounds like the same voice actors from Second Evolution. Damn, this character art is really cool. Oh, wow, so it's kind of like over... It's not over the shoulder, but yeah, you're like eye level with the map now in the town. In the shadows of twinkling stars. As long as hope remains, the light will continue to shine. Damn, this is insane. Evil ambition swirls around them. These new camera angles and the new look of the game and... More beautiful than before. More intense. Reinvigorated. So this is why this didn't come out at, right after First Departure R. This is why. They were putting way more time into it. Because, yeah, this is the biggest... The most famous game in the, you know, the franchise. And for good reason. This is the game that I think got everybody into Star Ocean. November 2nd, wow. And it's a physical copy on PS5? Damn. Yeah, I'm really excited for the game, man. I, I can't wait. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people don't understand what made Star Ocean so great. But dude, it's a, uh, it was really, really cool when that game came out. That game has like a really cool skill system. It has all these cool characters. In fact, the game has so many cool characters, you know, that you want to recruit them all, but unfortunately you can't. Maybe they'll change that in a second evolution R, or maybe they'll keep it the same, you know, limit the amount of party members you had. But yeah, it's way different than I thought it would be. It's it's much more... Um, a boy hailed as a hero of life. Yeah, same voice actors, but yeah, look at this, man. It's a... It's a completely different look from the original. Here, if we could... I want to see the, the Arlia town. What is this, though? Claude falls off the town. I don't remember this. I don't know if this was like a private action where you could go into the town by yourself and kind of just do things and experience events that you weren't used to. Um, I wasn't completely familiar with it. Dude, Dias. Dias was my favorite character. Yeah, he's the reason I played as Rena every single time. But damn, this is so cool. There's Leon over there with his parents, Ernest and Opera. And yeah, the character art looks really cool. The, the character art looks like they took the original from the PlayStation 1 manual and kind of just augmented it. Yeah, this is looking actually really sick. And then here's the 10 wise men that you fight at the end of the game. Spoilers, right? But damn, yeah, this brand new character art. So it's like, it's not just the PSP version on steroids. Like they, they kind of rebuilt this game a little bit. Yeah. And some of the environments are 3D now. Everything was 2D and now it's 3D and kind of like an Octopath style. Yeah. This is really, really cool. And this ship. 
Yeah, I know exactly what ship this is in the story. This is just... Wow. Yeah, I'm really excited to check this out. I'm, I'm really excited to revisit this. I've been playing this game maybe once every two years, right? And I would play it on like a PSP emulator and all that, Second Evolution. So, you know, I, I'm really excited to actually check this out and get to play it again because it was a very influential game to me. It, it is the reason I've always cared for Star Ocean and I've always like checked out the new entry in the series. So I would say, you know, if you're not familiar, definitely don't sleep on this game. I'd say make sure to keep following the trailers and maybe even look up some old gameplay to the, the original game. Because, you know, this was a, a really, really great game. It came out around the same time as Final Fantasy VII. And did it get the same hype and press that that game did? No. But this was definitely one of those games between 91 and 2001 and the golden age of RPGs that was very, very good. So I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I'm very excited for November 2nd. Let me know what you guys think. If you're also excited for the, you know... The unanimously known best Star Ocean game to come back. I'd love to hear it. So I'm very hyped. And thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.